Hello, it's been a while since I've done a video but I've got a couple of um, topics I want to cover. The first one is measuring the efficiency of an electric motor. This uh, relates to a core practical in the physics GCSE of AQA. Um, firstly let's consider the types of energy. Uh, you could argue that there are eight or nine. Eight with electrical being an additional form which is just the transfer of energy or nine if you include electrical energy in that. Um, devices convert one type of energy to another. Um, there are four devices shown here. The bedside lamp converts uh, electrical energy to useful light. The drill converts electrical to useful kinetic. The iron converts uh, electrical to useful heat and moving away from electrical the bell converts kinetic to sound. So let's focus on an electric motor then. Uh, converting electrical to kinetic there will also be less or unwanted energy or wasted energy, uh, heat and sound probably so the question is how efficient is the transfer from electrical to kinetic we work out the efficiency by looking at the useful energy output divided by the total energy input and the question would be how would we measure that the recommendation in this topic is that you get the motor to lift an object the useful energy is therefore gravitational potential energy calculated as mass times gravity times height or force which is the weight times distance which is the height. So let's imagine we set this uh, motor going um, we're going to lift a, lift a weight a distance of 2 meters and uh, we're going to measure the electrical energy uh, in. Now how do we do that? Well, if we had a joule meter, we could measure that directly, but we're going to calculate it using a voltmeter, an ammeter, and a timer. It's important that you understand how to do this. So, the voltmeter and the ammeter will give us voltage and current. If we multiply those values together, we will get power. And then, if we multiply power by time, we will get total energy input. Make sure you understand those two equations and those calculations. Uh, they will be done at the end of this video. So let's set the motor running. Um, flick the switch and up we go. And record the voltage and the current. Um, now we're going to repeat the experiment and we're going to use a heavier weight. So again, flip the switch on, up we go. You can already see this time the uh, weight is being lifted more slowly. Uh, also, we've got a different current. Uh, record all the information and we'll present that in a table. And here that table is. Um, right, take as long as you like to look at this. Maybe pause the video, go back through it. Uh, we've got the data we recorded and calculations. So let me talk you through it. We've got the force, which is the weight the distance lifted which was two meters multiply those together and you get useful energy output we've then got voltage and current which we multiply to give us power and then power times time will give us the total energy input then efficiency is useful energy output divided by total energy input multiply by 100 if you want a uh, percentage. So here are our results. Um, as you can see the efficiency of an electric motor is not great around about 5% when lifting 100 grams which was the 1 Newton. Um, lifting a heavier mass uh, so a greater weight um, the efficiency goes down. So in summary you need to know how you would measure uh, the useful energy that a motor does and the electrical energy that's input to the motor. Uh, you would then be able to work out the efficiency of a motor using that. But it's the detail of how you do the experiment 
that is most likely to come up as, an, uh, as a question. And finally, if you were asked about the difference in efficiency when different masses were lifted, generally uh, the greater the mass, the lower the efficiency. If you're asked why that is, then um, generally the efficiency is lower because more work is done. You could argue that that's because there's more friction in the gearing or greater heat loss because of that. Uh, or you could say the motor is under more strain, makes more noise, so more of the energy is wasted as sound. You'll also notice if you go back that the resistance in the circuit was higher. Um, you'll notice that because the current was lower. Um, and that's again more heat loss in the circuit if it's got higher resistance. Um, again, top answers would involve those sort of questions. Uh, best of luck with this.